Hi there guys and welcome back to another video. This is going to be roughly how to do a duo on P5 from the drop down. So start off with go to MD and take one step back and then onslaught. Use your Excalibur and then wait. Cancel the onslaught with the Dragon Breath and then you can sometimes do one or two more abilities depending on the stall. After this you're going to have five blues when you want to do, take off your crackling switch, use a couple of defensives to build some adrenaline uh, and then make sure you have the freedom ready. Obviously when the first beads come, make sure that you clear beads instantly, don't worry about the DPS in between and make sure you're like even if you have to wait and do an auto attack, that's fine. After this you want to get on, do an auto attack and use both your bleeds. Then while magic and gothic star spec, in this clip I don't actually use my gothic staff because I'm trying to explain to a viewer on stream how I clear my breeds instantly, which is the little toggle on the left hand side of your, um, oh, I'll just point it out on screen. After you've done your wild magic and gothic star spec, obviously then go out and BT and make sure that you use debilitate when the first boo is fired. Before this you want to try and time your abilities so that you have sonic wave so that you can sonic wave before for the 10% accuracy boost which helps massively. Depending on the rotation you've done, if you get to 100% adrenaline after this, use a threshold just as the purple bombs come out and you will then be able to do two basics to build back up to Cade. I often hold my Cade for one tick so that I um, Cade on the tick with the blue. It just means that I've got a better chance of Cading the very first blue on Reflect. It doesn't always happen, but it's very nice if it does. If when you Cade, you're on normal spell book, make sure you try and debuff. Uh, Virago on the same time as you Cade because you can always use a debuff at the same time as using a defensive ability. Then just use shield bashing, debreath and your bleeds accordingly before it's off and reflect. After this your task is basically to get your adrenaline as high as possible as soon as possible so that you can gothic staff spec and then go straight into a sunshine and get it out as early as possible. You'll see here that as I do my bleeds I then like I would often do a wild magic in the middle of bleeds if I was an onslaught rotation but because I'm sun adrenaline I can hold off and then I barge back in and go straight into a sunshine now. Obviously in the sunshine do a full set of thresholds and use your adren pot uh, and just max deeps to be honest. Uh, try and use tendrils as well just before the reflect you should have enough time to get all three out. Kind of depends a little bit on the stool though. When it is reflect do two or three basics uh, defensives obviously so you don't hit and then detto. Now when I detto I make sure to hover my hands over my freedom key so I release detto and if I get that first bleed instantly I can clear it without doing you know without tanking it at all because there is the danger if you detto debreath and it doesn't push say for example your detto splashes then you uh, can get that first bleed and it can cause a lot of problems. After this again it's pretty much the same as you did before thresh in bleeds um, and use your own bleeds as well and then escape out do sonic wave before your debilitate and here you'll notice that I get a ring proc on my debilitate so that I go straight into an asphyx which helps cause the stall um, just manage your adren. I generally try and get close to 100 as possible before I do my threshold just in case because it's really important that you do have Cade uh, if you don't it can really cause problems this is basically just something you'll get better at over time and learn when to judge to do your thresholds etc Now depending on when you debilitated in the like start before you caded, you should have debilitate even back by the second blue of reflect. And this is really good to do because it reduces your pushback massively if you hit it. Um, and as long as your DPS, like yeah, your partner, sorry, is doing his bleeds plus a wild magic or an asphyxia at the time, it might even push back towards you, but it will go straight back again, which is really, really nice. And finally, the last little bit of this rotation then is after you've caded and you've done your debilitate, you want to start brewing up to full health uh, because this is, your, is the rotation you're going to onslaught and you're going to onslaught obviously straight after bleeds as you did the first time. However, this time your partner, because as you can see I'm close to the end, your partner is going to cade on the blues that you would normally debilitate. Um, this is really effective because you can basically push it three squares and then by the time the purple bombs come out, you can just maul. As you see here, it's on more spot. He waits for the blue to hit him and then obviously purples come and he just runs in and mauls it. Hopefully this kind of rough guide as to what 
an ideal phase three would be and you can have much faster than this you can obviously have a lot slower um the main rotations are the same you just need to repeat them um it gets harder and harder to recover the longer the kill is but if you have a good first or, or first two pushes you'll be absolutely fine um generally if you're not as good as it as well you will find that you have slower and less push on the sun rotations uh, whereas onslaught it's very kind of you just click it and wait and you're guaranteed push every time Please do also realize that this will take more practice than you think. Um, it does make it look very easy when you just know what you're doing and it's, it's slowed down as, as it was on screen. Um, but do practice it and you'll get the hang of it and then hopefully it should help you guys with your juros. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I hope to see you guys in the next one.